I'm Adam Cranfield with Cal OES. Earlier this year, amidst the aftermath of over a dozen atmospheric rivers, Cal OES was assessing damages and coordinating recovery efforts across the state. And now we're back, highlighting how the resilient communities of the Central Valley are preparing for the upcoming storm season. Cal OES has been coordinating preparation efforts, distributing resources, and maintaining constant communication with each county to ensure Californians are prepared. But it's also the ongoing day-to-day -day, um, relationships and, and interactions with the local staff as well as the regional staff. If they need someone down here, uh, we can certainly come, come down and, and assist. In Fresno County, an area that has been experiencing drought conditions the last few years, had to pivot quickly to be prepared for flooding. Currently, Fresno County is positioning resources along the Kings River ahead of a likely significant storm season on top of all hazards preparations as well. We really do a concerted effort to year-round really educate um, our community as much as we can. In Tulare County, work on Avenue 56 has been completed and maintained, ensuring first responders have access to communities like Alpa and Allensworth in case of flooding. During last year's winter storms, this vital roadway was closed off, isolating vulnerable communities from much needed resources. In addition, Tulare County is focused on a combined effort of community improvements and informational outreach to prepare their community for the next storm season. We're getting information out. Lisos, California has been an amazing resource with art and uh, just flyers and everything people could need to get ready. And we're using as many channels as possible to communicate with everyone in our community. We've had the resources. Uh, we do have two swift water rescue teams. Uh, we have sandbags at our disposal, we have a great roads department, and we do have resources staged in events something like this could, ha could happen again. In Kings County, the location with the highest accumulation of water from Tulare Lake, Californians still keenly remember the impact last year's storms had on the region. We're still feeling the impacts of those winter storms from last year, and although in a way we are in recovery, we're still in response mode because the water is still here. With the assistance of Cal OES, we were able to secure some funding to able to reinforce some of the structures that otherwise would have put communities like Corcoran at risk. While some farmers are waiting for the water level to decrease to implement the next phases of recovery, Cal OES has helped coordinate the construction of small-scale levees to protect the dairy-producing businesses from future floods. And as we turn to the next few months, Cal OES will continue coordinating with counties in the Central Valley to ensure communities have the resources and information they need to stay safe before, during, and after storm season. To see more from us, visit news.caloes.ca.gov and follow us on all our social media platforms.